Well, that's the story of every R15 version 2 owner because this motorcycle doesn't have a comfortable pillion seat at all. And now Yamaha has gone back in time and launched the version 1 of the R15. It is called as the R15S. It shares mechanicals with the R15 V2. But does it make sense to have two of the same models in the market at the same time? Well, we are going to find that out today. The Yamaha R15S has a similar styling as the Yamaha R15 V1, so the fairing is the same as well. But what's changed is the fact that this motorcycle picks up some components from the version 2 model, like the rear tire, the exhaust, and the swing arm. Where the Yamaha R15S differs from the version 2 model is the fact that it gets a unibody seat, so this is a more comfortable motorcycle for the pillion. This motorcycle also gets a very different rear end from the version 2 model. There is no LED tail light and it does look a bit dated. The R15S gets a similar instrument cluster as the R15 V2. So this analog digital console is very easy to read and the best part is that the tachometer takes center stage. A gear position indicator would be a nice addition. Now what's common between the R15 V1, R15 V2 and the R15S is the engine. Powering the R15S is the same 150cc 4-valve fuel-injected motor. Now this engine produces 17 PS of power and 15 Nm of torque. It's a very smooth motor. It has good mid-range performance and has a nice top end too. So when you're out riding this motorcycle, there is punchy performance by 150cc standards. But vibrations do start to kick in when you reach the 10,500 RPM redline. The Yamaha R15S is underpinned by a delta box frame, otherwise known as a perimeter frame. And handling is the forte of this motorcycle. This is a very sharp motorcycle, it has excellent feedback. And what's changed from the version 1 model is that this motorcycle is slightly less flickable due to the wider rear tyre. Ride quality is also very good, while the brakes are stupendous. Yamaha R15S is priced slightly cheaper than the version 2 model. Now, this motorcycle offers the convenience of a rear seat. So if you're the kind of person who likes to go to the twisties with a pillion rider, this motorcycle makes a lot of sense. But if you look at the big picture, why would you want to buy a sports motorcycle with a pillion seat? And in that sense, it's the version 2 model which is our pick between these two bikes. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe to the Motorbeam channel.